So this will be another video of my $2 computer that I picked up from Goodwill. And so this video will be about installing Remix OS, which is basically Android, but kind of optimized for desktop. And I'll install it on a USB flash drive and then try to see how it runs on this computer. So let's go ahead and uh, install it. So right now I'm actually do do do. So I'm going to have to oh there it is. So I'm currently remotely accessing my desktop and I'll be back. So here is how you download it. Go to their site. And I'm going to get actually the 32-bit version because if you can recall, I I believe, I don't remember the exact specs of the $2 computer, but this probably has 2 gigs of RAM. So I'll get the torrent downloads. And torrent is definitely uh, the best way to go. I'll be back. So since this display actually is an IPS panel, that's why you can see the I guess the refresh rate kind of. So this is a 560 megabytes download and shouldn't take very long. I would guess a couple minutes at tops. So just a quick update. It went up to 1.5 megabytes per second. It should go up to 1.7 after I stop uh, remote, uh, remotely accessing my desktop because my router is not very, I guess, powerful. But still, you can see it did go up to 1.7. So I don't think I'll... Okay, so six minutes. So you can kind of get an estimate if you want to do this, how long it will take in total. So this is the flash drive that I will install Remix OS on. This is a, a USB 2.0 flash drive, meaning it, it is kind of slow. If it doesn't work out, then I'll put my USB 3.0 drive and then we'll see uh, how well it works. But it's recommended that you put, you install this on a USB 3.0 drive. So here it is the the WinRAR file or the zip file. So I'm gonna try to make it organized by putting it under my application. This is where I put I guess all the important stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it and then extract here. And then uh, let's see. So it will come with the Mac OS X as well as this one. All right, now it's all extracted. So here is the the ISO file. And then they also have an installation tool. I wonder what this is. Is this for installing it? Okay. So they actually provided. Uh, okay, that's actually pretty good. So you don't need to have any additional uh, application to so I'm gonna first figure out or I can just go here and see so that one is H or I have two flash drive connected so it is the H one so let's put H here and then browse for the for the ISO of Remix OS and I thought that I would need to download a different application or I actually have multiple application to create a live ISO, but they do provide you. So I have at H USB drive, just double checking, making sure that I'm not overriding on a 
I guess import and disk drive. So let's go ahead and press OK. OK, that's fine. And I'll be back once this is finished. So while that is going on, I'm going to just uh, I'm going to plug in the the two dollar computer to a display output or I guess the the VGA cable and then plug in uh, power. So let's do that right now. So here is the VGA cable. And then I have uh, the Wi Fi uh, USB also plugged in uh, to the front of the thing. So if I do power on right now, it will. It's not plugged in, the power source, but let's do that. And it should plug in. It's not plugging, I mean, it's not powering on. Oh, it's powering on. Okay. It's 10.48 at night. This is the universal uh, power cord that I bought, the most expensive thing. It's more expensive than the computer itself. But I highly recommend getting something like this, although not the exact one. This one has really bad reviews and I've had issues with it as well but it still gets the job done when you need to you can select the voltage and uh, it's pretty pretty good so it's now all done so first just to test it out I'm going to try to run it on my desktop if it works then we'll move to the the two dollar computer because less thing less things would go wrong with my desktop since it's all good but the two dollar computer has issues running older hardware and not sure if everything's compatible okay the computer should be rebooting pretty soon oh okay it rebooted to never mind this is not what i wanted come on do it so it rebooted into my two dollar computer. So what I wanted is to uh, reboot to HDMI. That's not the issue. But ah, uh, okay. So you can see one to the second display. Just do a hard reboot. So I believe on my motherboard uh, I need to press F12. F12 is the key to select which drive I want to boot from. And I guess we'll have to use this display since my monitor is automatically switching. There it is. And then here we have the Kingston Data Traveler. Okay, so I'm going to select it. And it seems like it's working. So we will just do just a guess mode, meaning uh, I can't save anything. Whatever I'm doing right now will not be uh, you know, saved. And I think this process would go faster if I had a USB 3.0 drive, but that's fine. So if this succeeds, like it runs fine, then I will move to, it actually failed, see, failed to find CPU, okay. So it failed. But that could be because uh, this is a 64-bit system and I'm trying to run a 32-bit OS. I'm going to just plug it to the $2 computer and maybe it will work. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the, the my mouse and keyboard to the $2 computer as well as the flash drive. And then try to boot it up and it should work. Because I did get the 32-bit system but I thought it would be compatible with 64-bit but it's not. All right, so I'm gonna do the do a hard reboot. So that's basically holding down the power button, and I don't remember the key to uh, select, so I can select what drive to boot from. 
so I'm going to figure that out now. <sighs> Why is it not working on? Oh, no, it's working. I never paused the video, that's weird, but something is different now, well, here's the loading screen. No, I'm gonna be back after it's all done. So it seems like it's gonna take some time, so it's 11 o'clock now at night, it might be 1 or 12 before we see anything. Now it'll be like 15 minutes, hopefully. The lights are pretty cool though. So a different screen now. It's telling me to select language. Come on, light. Can't get it to focus. There it is. United States, my uh, mouse is working as well. It's always good, but it's slow. I mean, it is process can't wait. It is incredibly slow. And if I put this in USB 3.0 drive, I might just go to Best Buy and pick one up and try this again with a faster drive or put it on my USB 3.0 drive, but I use it sometimes. So I don't want to do that. This says turning Wi-Fi on. And let's hope that doesn't like it. hard to focus. Let's hope the card, the the USB thing that I have, will work with with Remix OS. But if it doesn't, okay, I'm gonna skip it for now. Start. It's kind of Android is useless without internet. So I'm gonna. So you can see MX player, here it is working. So I'm gonna put a different uh, different network card, I guess network network uh, thing, and see if it works. So I'm gonna take the network adapter or the Wi-Fi adapter, whatever you call it, from my Raspberry Pi and then put that on and it should work because uh, this is natively supported with Linux kernel so it should be fine with Android as well so this is the Wi-Fi adapter that I was previously using very small what I forgot is I can just plug in the Ethernet uh, jack and I forgot about that almost so I'm gonna do that now so this is the one from Raspberry Pi that should have worked this is natively supported on uh, Deviant OS and Ubuntu but it's not working right now. So I'm gonna plug in the, the ethernet and then hopefully that works. All right, now the ethernet is uh, connected. But uh, get this higher. Zoom out. Closer. Okay, so uh, let's open up browser and uh, see what happens. Might have to reboot. Okay, it's working. Let's go to uh, businessinsider.com and my internet is slow right now, but uh, it is working. From what it seems I don't think it's just the internet slow it's a combination of both and it's uh, let's do request desktop side then uh, make that full screen 
but you can see everything's loaded and uh, I'm gonna do tech.interest.com so here it is it's actually working fairly well but uh, there might be something wrong with my VGA cable that's causing some flickering issues it's not just on the I guess on the preview that's doing that okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, go to tech that interest uh, tech that interest dot com and we'll end it there uh, I'll make another video uh, probably an edited video kind of showing off how this works but this is kind of this video is about the process of doing something like this and documenting it and there it is it's loaded my tech that interest website with all the ads as well all right thank you